Here are some guidelines for how to use timeout correctly. The most important guideline is that the time in setting, or the situation the student was in when the problem behavior occurred, must be reinforcing or fun for your student. In this way, your student may be punished when taken away from the enjoyable time in situation. Unfortunately, adults sometimes misuse timeout by using it when a student is acting out during a non preferred task, such as seat work. As we see in the following example. Okay, now we're gonna do your math worksheet. I don't want to do it. Oh, we're not gonna do your work. You're gonna have to go to timeout. If you put your student in timeout during a difficult task, then your student may actually be reinforced by being allowed to escape or get out of the challenging task. 